Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to East New York Gaming. Thanks for tuning in. Today, just want to showcase my assault rifle Alpha Bridge build. And uh, without further ado, let's just dive right into it. Got a primary LVOAC, secondary G36 enhanced. Uh, my primary, my three talents are competent, unforgiving, and responsive. And as my fourth and free talent, I'm rocking Add Depth. My base damage is at 25.1k and my enemy armor damage is 21% and uh, I'll get into it a little later as to why I chose Adept as my fourth talent but for now let's move on to the attachments. My magazine is a 110% magazine size, 4% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, small grip with an 18% critical hit damage, 5% reload speed and a 2.5% stability. My loud vent break got 19% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, and a 5.5% headshot damage, and the C79 scope is identical, 19% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, and 5.5% headshot damage. As you can see, weapon damage 25k, critical hit chance 18% base, critical hit damage 101 base, and headshot damage is 86% base. Everything else is pretty much standard, 319 toughness, 32.5 armor, and nothing too crazy as far as skill power, but this is a DPS build, so you know, it's all about hitting the hardest. And if you are interested into my secondary, here's the talents on my secondary. I don't really use my secondary much as far as PvP goes, um, I will pull it out. If I do have to drop a player who's like has a speck of health or who managed to pop a med kit or pop a heal right before I was able to down them. Um, I did spec more into headshot damage with this one rather than go with the critical hit damage being that this has a slower RPM and being that it's easier to control and easier to aim for the head. I went with the Omega Rifle Suppressor and the 12 times scope to maximize that headshot damage so I can get maximum damage when I do switch over if I have to and if you are interested we can move over to the character sheet where you will see the difference from the LVOAC where I had over a hundred percent critical hit damage and on the G36 I have over a hundred percent headshot damage and I do have destructive on that as well so I can try to you know down named NPCs or any other type of elites that I come across in the dark zone if they get in the way or if we're just uh, farming a supply drop or something like that and uh, I have a sawed off sidearm um, I really only uh, use this for the uh, predatory talent on it so I could try to regain a little bit of health after I do down a player and finish them off try to get a quick uh, health boost but onto the gear we have a reckless chest piece with a 1982 native armor roll on there uh, rolled for firearms with a 15,502 health roll, 5.5% enemy armor, and 53% ammo capacity on that. With the firearm mods 267, 3,243 health on every single piece that I'm rocking. Uh, Alpha Bridge Mass with 993 base armor, 4% critical hit chance, 16% blind death resistance, and 1261 stamina roll. If I could change anything, it would be blind death resistance, and I would prefer burn resistance. Onto the knee pad, 1537 base armor. Got a firearm roll on that, 16,303 health. And again, if I could change this, I would love uh, shock and burn resistance rather than disrupt and blind death. But you got to make do with what you have. Alpha bridge holster, 982 base armor. Got pretty good rolls on this, 1266 firearm, 1265 stamina, 1271 electronics, and with a 7755 health roll on that. Here we got Savage Gloves, 973 base armor, 1262 firearms, 1299 assault rifle, 16% critical hit damage, and 5.5% critical hit chance. Alpha Bridge Backpack with another firearm roll. Real good 1306 base armor roll, 13,000 health roll, and I believe I had ammo capacity on that. Which you know when you're rocking the Alpha Bridge build, it is important to have as much ammo as you can. 
and we're just gonna step outside so I can explain to you why I did choose that depth as my fourth and my free talent. So as you can see, we open up the character sheet, we look at the LVOA, 18% base, critical hit chance, but when we use a skill, boost the shot, activates add depth and competent, and here we are, 30.7k base damage, that's competent and boost the shot both working together, and since we use add depth, it's each time you use a skill, you get a 7.5% crit hit chance added to that. So you can see my crit hit went up to 33%. And that's not even factoring in Savage Gloves or the extra crit hit you get from the pulse. So you could definitely say that's above 45%. And on an AR, in my book, that's great. So I know it was brief. I know it was uh, straight to the point. But I hope, uh, you know, you guys managed to utilize the information and like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the dark zone.